Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Hacks, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about magic photos. The Xactimate estimating software gives you an incredible amount of things that you can do with the photos that you need to include in your estimates and invoices. So I'd like to highlight a few of those things like batch naming, commenting, annotating, and other things as well. Let's start here in our Xactimate 28 homepage projects tab. You'll see I have a project right here, Exact Practice, which is the one we're going to use to work in today. When I double click that and open it up, I'm going to bring it up here. I wanted to show you before we start that I have no magic tricks up my sleeve, that there are currently no photos in this project. Uh, so we're starting from scratch. So I'm going to go back here. First thing is there's three major ways that you can add photos to any particular estimate. The first I want to highlight, as you can see here, I have a collection of photos that I would like to add to this project. Now I can add them directly from here. I can drag them into the specific project that I would like to add them to. In this case, I want to go to the exact practice uh, estimate. And you can see here it brings up the confirm import. And I hit yes. And I'm going to move this back out of the way so you can see that finish. And 41 successful pictures were transferred. So now when I actually open up that estimate, bring it back up to you. And when I go to the images tab up here, there are 41 images that I successfully transferred over. Now, there are two other major ways that are much more traditional ways to bring in the, over these photos. First and foremost, I can drag and drop again, but it's straight into the uh, photos uh, window from the specific estimate that or project that I'm working in. And then I can additionally load image and select all the same images directly from that folder in my computer. So now that I have those photos in there, I want to show you how you can batch name them. Now, a lot of times when I was working as an uh, early estimator, uh, I would individually go into each one and name it whatever I was naming it. And let's say they were all in the kitchen, I would have kitchen copy and paste it onto my clipboard, and I would go kitchen, copy, paste, kitchen, paste, kitchen, paste, kitchen, paste. That's a very inefficient way of doing it. So you can actually select all of these photos here. And, and notice how it says various values, date taken. I can click that various values here and say east elevation, date taken, all taken on the same date, taken by me, Seth Harrison. And I can even you actually comment on all of these and batch. These are the east elevation. Now, on every single photo, It'll have that image name, it'll have that date taken, the taken by, and that comment. Now I can go into each one and change it and say, this is a big elevation. And here is more elevation. So it will maintain the original comment that I put in all of them, but it will also add that specific comment to that photo and not change the other ones. So that gives you batch naming, batch commenting, and then individualized naming and commenting. Um, let's go a little bit deeper now and open up by double clicking one of these photos. And let's do show you what annotating an image looks like. Up here in the top right is abilities to add a line, an arrow, a circle, um, eclipse, uh, ellipse, <laughs> rectangle, text. You can rotate the pictures as well. Right here in your settings, you want to make sure that you have a color selected for your font that actually shows up on the background. In a lot of cases, red is a typical color, but certainly you don't want to use red if you're trying to annotate a red wall. But you can change that. It starts as black, so you'll have to change yours if you don't want it to be black. Um, and we recommend red, and you can change the, that's for the uh, text right here, for the uh, objects and lines you'd like to use, and then the general thickness. Thicker is generally better, so you can see more clearly what you're trying to annotate. So we'll go back here and we'll hit the ellipse, and I'll go ahead and highlight a section of this wall, and I'll put next to it, uh, wall needs work. And I'll add for posterity a little there and say, right there, that needs the wall. Now let's say I didn't put it right in the first place, like I need to move it a little bit. I can come over here and click the mouse in the top left, and I can actually move it around a little bit so I give it some more space of where it needs to go and, or even potentially elongate it and things like that. 
So now I am showing and highlighting specifically in the image what I'm trying to point out, why I'm justifying something specific, or uh, if I'm using this as an image note, that it's showing exactly what I'm looking for or trying to point out uh, in that note. So I'm going to go back, and you can see here that that image is still annotated. Note as well that there's no save button. There's no like normal, do you want to save these photos? Do you want to save your changes? It just does it. And all you can do is hit the X, and then I promise your photos will still be there. And even the annotations too. So last but not least, there's two really incredible things, uh, really one that you can do right here. So first and foremost, I want to show you when you can, oh, back in the images here. You can export these photos. Let's take all these photos. And I can hit the export button in the top right. And let's say I want to name it EPC Images. Now, I'm going to show you the EPC Images folder. When I look at that folder normally, it is approximately 778 megabytes. That does include two videos, but that's a large folder of pictures. A lot of times you'll have someone ask for, hey, can you send over the photos for that? And then you put it in your Gmail or your Outlook account, and it says uh, you've reached the maximum uh, limit of attachments, uh, 25 meg megabytes or whatever it may be for the program that you're using to email them. That's frustrating because I don't want to send five different emails now with 20 photos each on each one. So I can actually take this and show you that it's 2.18 megabytes. So it went from 700 something to 2.18. This is a much easier file to send over. So the compression software, even as a standalone product, is incredibly efficient and useful. So do not be afraid to export your photos to send to an adjuster, to a contractor, to a policyholder, to condense them into one easily transferable zip file. Now, when it comes to actually printing these photos with the report, we'll go to the print section up here in the top right. And you'll notice that I already have the images only selected. Um, but I can go here under estimate reports and go to the images section and do a couple different things. First and foremost, if this will always be on one to start, number of images per page. And you can do print image detail, detail on separate page, print image annotations. So I'm going to show you, I've already actually done this up here what a single page, uh, the annotations would be included. This is showing the, the actual comment description right there on the same picture. So it's do, showing you all of those things. Now I can also do the print detail on a separate page and all of those comments would show up at the very end on a separate page with the title number like 87 EPC, East Elevation, this is the East Elevation, etc. cetera. Um, but that's a fairly inefficient way because if you ever printed out an estimate with one page per, per image, you'll have maybe 120 pages in your estimate. Well, you can actually condense that to two, four, eight pic images per page. Four is usually the most reasonable. And I can show you what that looks like here. I now have four of these images per the page. And at the very end, it has the image number, the type, and all the comments of those individual photos right there. And if you have the print image annotations selected, if you are highlighting an image, it, and we did those, connotation, or those uh, annotations in red, those would actually show up on the images in the report. Um, this is a highlight of what you can do with the photos uh, in Xactimate. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe at our YouTube page. And uh, we will see you next Thursday. Thank you very much.